Hello, I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, December 15th, 2017. Here's what's happening today. First up, the next rose gold craze is coming to Disney parks this December, and that is rose gold spirit jerseys. So if you don't know what a spirit jersey is, you've probably seen them blowing up all over the place in the past year or so at Disney parks. So basically, on the front of the long sleeve shirt, it will have a logo of sorts, whether it's for Disney Cruise Line, Walt Disney World, or Disneyland. And then on the back of the shirt, written in text across the shoulder blade, is the name of that destination. And they are just massively popular. Popular, but now we're going to get them in rose gold color. So what does that mean? It will be a light pink shirt and then on the lettering for the destination that will be in that glittery rose gold. So right now we don't know what the price will be of these new spirit jerseys and we actually don't know the exact date of when they'll be available but I'm sure you will see them all over the place when they are and we will also let you know. Now moving over to Universal, uh, Natalie Tana, better known to Harry Potter fans as Nymphadora Tonks, has been added to the list of celebrities for a celebration of Harry Potter 2018. So she's the final star to be announced for the event that will also include uh, James and Oliver Phelps, Bonnie Wright, and Stanislav Yanevsky. So a celebration of Harry Potter will be returning to Universal Orlando from January 26th through the 28th, and there are still vacation packages available if you are interested in attending this year's event. But you don't need to book a vacation package. It's free to everyone who has park admission for those days. Now, finally, on Wednesday, December 20th, two young walruses will make their debut at SeaWorld Orlando in the Harbor Seal exhibit. Ginger and Aku, will, who have been living backstage for a while now, will transition into a new viewing space that features both above and underground water viewing areas. So Ginger was born in SeaWorld back in June while Aku was a rescue, and I can't wait to get out to SeaWorld and actually see the new walruses. I love walruses, and I love SeaWorld. Now, today's featured article on the Diz comes from Beth Seltzer, and she compares Disneyland's Blue Bayou restaurant to Walt Disney World's San Angel Inn. I'm guessing she mentions how incredibly dark both of the restaurants are, and how they're both on a waterfront, and probably how both are usually criticized for their actual food. So, if you want to read the full article and many others, head over to WDWinfo.com. Now, trending on the boards today is a thread that was started by So Catriotic, who expressed her concerns about riding Space Mountain due to her fear of drops. In the thread, she's asked for words of wisdom from other posters, and a lot of people are coming in who have shared the same fear and other folks that are just looking to help ease her anxiety on it. So Space Mountain is one of the coasters you've been wanting to try, but you've always been afraid of it. Look for the thread entitled Stressing Over Space Mountain for some great tips. And of course, you can always start your own post over on the Theme Parks Attractions and Strategies Forum at disboards.com. Now, later today at youtube.com slash disunplugged, you can find the latest episode of the Disney Dining Show. And today the panel has their review of the hoop de doo review with a little bit of Christmas overlay they have too. So to watch this show, again, head over to youtube.com slash disunplugged and later you'll be able to find it up on iTunes as well. Now, wrapping things up with the weather, out in Anaheim, you can expect a high of 81 degrees today and a low of 49 with plenty of sun that's gonna actually stay throughout the rest of the weekend, but temperatures will drop to the low 70s for the rest of that weekend with lows in the mid 40s. Here in Orlando, expect a full weekend of sun with a little bit of clouds. Temperatures are going to be bouncing around in the mid to low 70s for the most part. And then uh, the lows, you can expect it to be in the mid 50s today and tomorrow and then uh, getting a little warmer at night and just dropping into the low 60s. For links to everything discussed on today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix. It's going to do it for me today, but we will be back with you on Monday for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great weekend, everyone.